Let's start with a cabinet that I have already split into three sections by height via the split height function. Once we have a cabinet split into the various sections that we require, we can split the sections into openings even further. Highlighting the top section with our navigation buttons, we can set the number of door openings to 1 and the number of doors per opening to 2. Under these circumstances, Cabin Pro will split the doors vertically into two doors for that opening. However, we have the option of splitting the section horizontally if we place a check in the split horizontally box. You will notice the doors are now split horizontally. We have different parameters that define the spacing between doors that are split horizontally and those that are split vertically. Highlighting the middle section with our navigation buttons, we can set the number of door openings to 2 and the number of doors per opening to 1, which will give us a middle style between the doors if we are in face frame mode and a vertical partition behind the mullion if we want. In frameless mode, we would have a vertical partition separating the openings, but obviously no middle style. Highlighting the bottom section, we will split this section into three openings with one or two doors per opening. In this case, we'll use one door per opening. We now have three equal openings with three doors on our bottom section. But with three door openings, we, you will notice some additional options exist for our middle section. If the middle opening width shows standard, then all three openings are equal in width, which is shown below. We can remove the door for the middle section, and we can have the shelves go all the way across the three openings shown. Or we can place vertical partitions behind the shelves, excuse me, behind the mullions, thus splitting the shelves for each opening. We can also omit the shelves in the middle opening if our design requires us to do so. We can also change the width of the middle opening that will automatically alter the openings on either end. If we wish to place two doors in the middle opening while leaving one door on either side, we place the appropriate number of doors in the middle doors per opening field. Opening the doors shows us what is inside of each opening. Finally, we can eliminate the doors on the ends if we wish end up and end up with shelves on the sides and a couple of doors in the middle. 